laughter was a sort of a major sort of move in the 1990s, you know, 1994 in Toronto and all that stuff. But it was going on before that, you know, within Vineyard, I had a lot of that. Others did, you know, Rodney Howard Brown in the whole sort of Pentecostal stuff. That was a lot of laughter and all things. And, you know, there's a sense where God did a lot of things in that, got our attention, definitely. But at the end of the joy, God God wants his joy to be in you so your joy to be can be full. Mm. and you know laughter you know a merry heart is healing to the bones mm. so sometimes it's like what god is doing in us can't be contained and it just has to come out you know and you think god's doing something in you that just is bringing that sense of joy and releasing you into enjoying life and maybe it's just an overflow of what god's been doing with you, mm. you know? and it's fun to laugh isn't it i mean laughter mm. is 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 a joyful <laughs> thing and particularly yeah. if you don't know why you're laughing <laughs> then you just you aren't even focused on anything it just happens yeah, yeah it was very special i felt very free you know yeah. it was, like, was for me yeah. i definitely found it liberating yeah. Because I think particularly British people tend to be quite, you know, sober and stiff up a lip and everything else. Yeah. And therefore, you know, letting go <laughs> and not being restricted and not being so sort of limited by our culture <laughs> and by our sort of national identity. And I remember years ago, during the period where laughter was happening and things were going on, we i was in a, a worship setting with a small group of men it was a men's meeting and we were all sort of you know a bit i don't know what the word is but limited you know we weren't really expressing things as we potentially could have done and we were all a bit stiff um and this guy said god wants to knock the british stuffing out of you all <laughs> there happened to be on the settee a pillow a cushion which was a union jack cushion and he picked up this union jack cushion and he went away whacking us all with and he's, god is gonna knock the british stuffing out of you and literally we just all the inhibitions just went and we were able to worship in a way none of us had ever done before because everything just lifted off us because God was saying, hey, don't be restricted in <sighs> culture or any form. Be free. Be at liberty. Just be free. You know, and we, I mean, that changed my life in terms of worship and my expression and dance. And, you know, I'm not a dancer, but, you know, I will jig up and down. You know what I mean? And it, it's like, but I don't care. You know, before that, I was con I was aware and almost thinking about what other people would think. And I wasn't free just to express myself because I was restricted and there were these inhibitions, but then they all got lifted off. And suddenly I felt free and I was there free to be able to express things in a way I'd never done before. And I think God wants us all to be free. You don't want mm. us to be restricted mm. or inhibited and afraid or worrying what someone else will think. But, you know, laughter is a way which are almost sort of when you're laughing, you can't really be dignified, can you? You know, it's not, you can't sort of like <laughs> laugh with this sort of you just let go. You know, mm. you just let go. And it's sort of. You enter into it. And I think that's really what God wants for all of us, really, is to enter into more and more and to just let go and be able to express and be free. You know, and it's OK to let out what's going on on the inside at times. Sometimes you feel what you're feeling and you're feeling it. It doesn't really matter whether it's on the outside or not. But sometimes actually expressing it, you know, is an indication that God has done something and is doing something, you know, and actually it's a fun thing. Mm. He laughs a lot. Yeah. 
it was a very good picture to that little bird, you know, yeah. opening. In fact, in fact, this year, <laughs> um, I, I built a couple of bird houses and a different thing for the garden. And we started feeding the birds a lot with different food and things like that. And we've been watching. We put up nesting boxes and we had a we had a couple of um, robin broods of robins. We had a couple of broods of uh, great tits and blue tits, blackbirds. And so we've been watching them feeding them. And the, and the little birds, when they're when the parents coming, they, they flap their wings up and down and open their mouths and the parents come and it's like, feed me, feed me, feed me. So yeah. I've actually got a picture that I took on the birdhouse of a of a, a fledgling blackbird sat on the top of the birdhouse and the and the parent slapping its wings and feeding it in midair just feeding <laughs> the chick and so probably seen four or five different sets of bird a wren recently a little wren feeding its chicks just like that mm -hmm. you know and it is god does provide for us and feed us and gives us all that we need because he cares you know it's like when you think of those birds they sacrifice themselves to do that you know i've seen birds flying even when the the chicks were in the nesting box the blue tits they would come over to the feeding table they'd pick something up they'd take it back back and forth back and forth back and forth all day long i didn't see them eat anything themselves they just flew back and forth feeding these chicks and eventually when they all came out of the nest they all started flocking to the feeding thing and the parents were just feeding them and feeding them it's great it's lovely to watch you know we've really enjoyed watching the birds this year we just sit sit having breakfast because all the bird tables are outside the window in the you know, patio windows and we just watch them and then just enjoy the, the how they're how they sort of fledge and how they grow and then they form little groups and they all come flying in together and it's, it's great you know and it is a, a good picture of uh, of god equipping us and feeding us uh, yeah but eventually you, you get to the point with the birds they eventually feed themselves and all fly off but with yeah. god god wants us to be dependent on our relationship with him for the source of life continually and there's a sense where we're not no longer chicks if you like but he's still the source as we mature he's still the source if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much